and welcome to Once More With Feeling, Planet Fear, the debut album from industrial side project Declute, which is the effort of Dino Caceres of Fear Factory, Jürgen Engler of Decrux, and Klaus Larsen of Leatherstrip, the last of which I'm not all too familiar with, but if this album is anything to go by, then I'm definitely going to look into more of their stuff. So yeah, if you're into your industrial and you really like sort of more of the founding styles of industrial music, then this will definitely be up your alley. It's very heavily driven by the D crops sound at a lot of places, and I presume on at the times where I wasn't too familiar with the style, that's where the leather strip format comes into play. Um, there are certain songs that are very much in the Fear Factory vein, especially ones like For Nothing, which is very much driven by Cazares' guitar work, and you can tell where he specifically had stylistic input in the album. Um, but you never really feel like there's one particular style that is outright overruling everything else. Like, whilst Out of Control feels very much like the style of Germaniac by D. Krabs, you can still feel the influences, at, at least from Fear Factory. I will have to look into more. I've uh, definitely got to explore Leather Strip when I can. Personal favourites are ones like Out of Control, um, Rich Kid Loser. Uh, I'll admit that is a bit of a. If you're on the Republican side, you're gonna want to avoid that because that is so obviously about Trump. It's it was one of those. Oh, I see what this song is about, just from the first couple of lines. Then again, if you're a fan of these bands, then you're probably not a Republican. Probably. None more for that. So, out of control. Rich Kid Loser and For Nothing are personal favourites. Uh, the Rich Kid Loser is very much the one that feels like it most effectively blends the styles. Uh, least favourite songs are Born For A Cause. I wasn't too much of a fan of how very plodding and deliberate it felt. Uh, that's probably deliberate because it does feel like it's to a marching beat. That's more on the I need to be in a particular mood to enjoy it. But it's not a bad song in, in and of itself, it's just, as I say, need to be in the right mood. And she watched Channel Zero. I'm going to say outright I found the lyrics a bit impenetrable. Maybe it's just a bit of a a uh, cultural barrier because it's reflecting on American consumerism and uh, over here in England it's not quite as prevalent so it could quite easily be that scale of things. Um, I'm not entirely sure where to say on that. Musically, really enjoyable song, just I found the lyrics a bit difficult to tangle with. It's one of those, it could grow on me, it could just stay a flat. Take it or leave it. Push the Limit. Now that's probably the one song that I have a particular gripe with, and that's more because overall I like the song, but there's this one very strange, almost dubstepy breakdown. <laughs> I just 
cannot get along with. And that's not because I don't like dubstep, it's just it feels very out of place. It's, it's one of those suddenly dubstep, but not quite dubstep kind of things. Um, but overall, that's one of those cases where I'd probably edit it or potentially remix it to make the flow to that dubstep bit a bit more seamless. I'm probably using the wrong term, it's just my initial impressions of the sound. But overall, my problems with the album are very minor and vastly outweighed by how much I enjoyed the album just on first listen. Um, overall, I'd give the album 4.5 out of 5. It's definitely got potential to grow and that score could easily go up. And I eagerly await to see what this side project has in store for us. One thing you'll definitely want to check out is the video for It's All In Vain because that's both a music video and a trailer for an upcoming film that's starring William Shatner. And I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, like, if D. Coot are soundtracking the film, then I'm all for it. I, I'll be, you know, opening night, I'll be ready for seeing the movie. If they've just got some tracks in it, still, I'll be up for it. Check out this album, you can find it on Bandcamp, uh, you can get it for, like, like, I paid a tenner for it, so, you know, it's, you know, you're getting music that you can't get anywhere else at a reasonable price. It's win-win. I can't remember the name of the film right now, but I will I will leave it in the description, the title in the description, and leave a link to the video. You're definitely going to want to catch it. It's all in vain. Was not one of my favourites. That was what made me very enthusiastic about this album, Just On The Off. So, see if you like that song. If you like it, then you're definitely going to like the rest of the album. Uh, that's Edmund Scribbins signing off. Uh, this definitely wasn't all in vain.